T-minus 30 seconds. Stage 2, pressing for flight. LD is go for launch. Stage 1, pressing for flight. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. You guys are in the country now. Vehicle is supersonic. Coming up on one minute into flight, we're getting ready for maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. You've heard the call out. We're through the region of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle going supersonic as we leave the denser parts of the lower Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 trajectory looks good. All nine Merlin engines are at power. Everything looking good for Falcon 9. We're heading due east from Cape Canaveral. Nice view from the onboard camera looking back at the plume slowly expanding as we leave the atmosphere. The plume will get larger as we get out to the vacuum of space. We won't be recovering the first stage today, so that leaves more and propellant to burn to achieve the required orbit for the satellite. If you compare that to last week's CRS-18 resupply flight to the space station, on that mission, the first stage shut down almost half a minute sooner than today. We needed to reserve enough propellant to be able to turn the first stage and return it all the way back to the launch site. Now coming up quickly in 20 seconds, a sequence of events, main engine cut off, the nine main engine shut down, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine coming up in just under 15 seconds.
we go. AVI stage separation confirmed. We've had successful ignition of the second stage engine. The Merlin Vacuum D engine is up at power. Turbine speed Stage looks one, good. You can see the nozzle beginning to glow red. A tradition stage for two, the upper nominal stage. Trajectory. First stage has completed its mission. It's falling back to earth. As we said, we won't recover it. Coming up next, fairing separation out in the vacuum of space. You guys, fairing separation confirmed. Nice view in the late afternoon, sun shining on the payload fairing. Right now, Merlin vacuum engine continues to be on power. Trajectory looks good. Stage two is right in the middle of the predicted path. Avionics reports their systems are nominal. In case if you've just joined us, we had a slight delay due to weather over at uh, Florida launch site, but we did take off at 23 minutes after the hour. And as you can see on your screen, the stages have separated and there we have a beautiful shot of planet Earth as the second stage nozzle is glowing gorgeous red, orange. So coming up, four minutes and 15 seconds, Mark. Stage two on nominal trajectory. We have confirmation that the trajectory for stage two is nominal. Just after the second stage ignited, you may have noticed a couple of pieces coming off from the nozzle. Um, if you've tuned into our launches before, you see that every time. Those are basically, bas that's basically just a stiffening ring that we place at the end of the nozzle to give it a little bit of structural integrity for transportation purposes while the rocket is still on the ground. Not really necessary uh, once the rocket has taken off and they fall away. Uh, at this point in the mission, the second stage is pulling about three and a half Gs. You yourself may have experienced that. If you've ever been on a big roller coaster, equivalent to that, the space shuttle encountered about three and a half Gs whenever it was taking off and re-entering.
terminal guidance. We're beginning to throttle down the second stage engine to keep G-loads on the spacecraft underneath the required levels. Getting ready for shutdown of the second stage engine. I'm back shut down. We've got a good shutdown. Waiting for the orbit call out now. Nominal orbit insertion. And the guidance officer over the countdown net has called out a nominal orbit insertion. Looking at the plots, it's a really good looking orbit for the Falcon 9. Waiting for payload separation event. AVI confirms spacecraft separation. Uh, always great to see the spacecraft floating away from the Falcon 9 second stage. So we've got a good deployment on time. We're in the desired orbit. And with that, we're going to bring our webcast to a close. But it's been a great webcast for the Falcon 9 team. Until next time, have a great night.